San Diego. And one of these dumb shoes could find her. He was born in Nigeria and likes to play soccer. Miku Chenna Aguaji. She can speak Spanish and takes lessons in Taekwondo. Meet Gabrielle Mack. He collects comic books and wants to travel the world. Meet Patrick Donovan. And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits. Red Lee! Oh, yeah! yeah. How you guys doing, everybody? Patrick, how you doing? Gabrielle, how are you? It's Anna, how are you, man? Thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Rockabella! <laughs> <laughs> Quick reminder for you guys, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, which is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad at all. Let's get things started, Chief. Who are we after? This is Double Trouble. Double Trouble. They're not too bright, but full of tricks. Their IQ's total 36. Their last known whereabouts, Hawaii. Every winter, humpback whales migrate to Hawaii from their summer feeding grounds in the northern Pacific. These 40-foot-long, 40 40-ton 40 visitors go there to breed. Experts think the whales may prefer the shallow waters around certain Hawaiian islands because the temperature suits their newborns. For a while, humpbacks were scared away from the shallows by jet skis and motorboats. A ban on those sports during the breeding season has assured the whales a quiet place to loll from May to December. Or it did until today. Christ. When the calm seas were troubled by a mean submarine. Ah. Double trouble commanding their twin fisted crime craft hauled into Hawaiian waters. Then hauled out the humpbacks. Ah. Every last one. The twins had vile visions of water parks dancing in their heinous heads. Gumshoes, put an end to this whale tale and solve today's case. Stop your blubbering. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, trying to find double trouble and the whales. To help you out, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get things started with our very first clue. And for that, it is once again time for... Acme Man! Look out, look out! Ow. Acme Man, Acme Man, if he can do it, maybe anyone can. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> that pink package of sugar substitute is starting your efforts to count calories. Allow me, Acme Man, to assist you while I give a clue to my friends at Acme. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gah. Look for double trouble in the country that borders Lithuania. Modern artist Mark Chagall grew up there before immigrating to Paris to study painting. You can see Chagall's rural childhood in many of his pictures where peasants and livestock float dreamily through the air. There you are, my friend. Thanks to my superpowers, your diet has been saved. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Are you not impressed? Of course you are. Am I not the greatest superhero of all time? Of course I am. For I am Acme Man, and I am going away. Acme Man! Thank you very much, Acme Man. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country where Double Trouble have taken the whales. Is it Finland, Belarus, or Hungary? Remember the clues that we heard? Borders Lithuania and artist Mark Chagall. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, guys. Patrick is ready. Uh, Gabriel and uh, Uchenna are now ready as well. Patrick, what do you say, buddy? I said Belarus. Uh, Belarus. Uh, Gabriel, what do you think? Hungry. Hungry. What do you think, Uchenna? I said hungry. Hungry. The answer we're looking for is Belarus. Nice job, Patrick. All right, gumshoes, for our next clue. Oh, now Greg! Greg! Oh, well, that sounds like our own beloved uh, little Scott Leonard. Let's see what he needs out here in the alley. Ah, oh, well, it's Rockapella. Who's got the loot in Tornado Alley? A stretch of land where twisters abound. Who's in a state just south of Nebraska where everyone knows it's windy? It's windy because air collides. Some warm and the rest 
West is cool And that's how tornadoes form As a general rule As a general rule As a general rule A general rule Who's sucking all the feathers off chickens And ripping trailer parks into shreds Who's spinning cows off into the sunset Everyone knows it's windy Who's taking all the water from rivers And tossing pickup trucks around town Who's flinging double trouble like frisbees Everyone knows it's windy Okay, Gumshoes. <laughs> Name the state. <laughs> Is it Arkansas, Kansas, or South Dakota? Oh, my. <laughs> uh, remember the clues in Tornado Alley and south of Nebraska. Uh, Lieutenant Gabriella, Patrick, said already. Patrick, what do you think? I said Kansas. Kansas, what do you think, Gabriella? I said Arkansas. Arkansas. Uchenna? I said Kansas. Kansas, the answer we're looking for. Is Kansas. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show. Watch out, everybody. It's the lightning round. <laughs> All of these questions are about Double Trouble's most recent known whereabouts, which is Kansas. Give you five Acme Crime Books every time you answer a question correctly. So, hands on the buzzers, guys. Here is the first question. Russian immigrants to Kansas started growing a wheat so bountiful it led to a state nickname. What was Kansas called? Was it Breadbasket of the Nation, the Krusty State, or Let Them Eat Cake? Uchenna. The Breadbasket of the Nation. He is right. Nice job. Fire for you. <laughs> Takes it to 65. Here's the second question. A 1960s TV show was set in Civil War Kansas and starred friendly Indians and wacky soldiers at Fort Courage. Was the show called MASH, F Troop, or Hogan's Heroes? <laughs> Uh, Uchenna. Hogan's Heroes. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Uh, Patrick. MASH. Sorry, it's not MASH. Gabrielle, want to take a crack at this? Is it MASH, F Troop, or Hogan's Heroes? F Troop. Is right. Nice job. How'd you do it? <laughs> Takes up to 55. Here's the last question. You guys hear this? Nice, right? All right. Uh, what you are hearing is the official state song of Kansas. Name that tune. Another famous little game show there. Uh, is it Love Theme from The Wizard of Oz, Home on the Range, or uh, Patrick? Home on the Range. That's right. Nice job. Five for you. Very close game we got going on here, guys. And uh, for our next clue, then, it looks like it's uh, going to be time for Can me to... come in here, please? Yeah, Chief. I'll be right there. Okay, guys. Time for me to have a quick meeting with the Chief. I will meet you in the alley in just a few minutes. You guys can come along if you like. <laughs> hey, Chief. What... Hey, that is a great... Great windmill, oh, let me tell you. Thanks, Greg. You know, I had it installed this morning. It is a great way to save money. Mm -hmm. As of today, all office power comes from that windmill. Well, Chief, that is all well and good as long as the wind keeps blowing. But what if the wind dies down? Did you think about that? No, I hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe oh. you should give it some thought. Oh, great. Oh, now we've got no power. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should be. All right. Let's do the contest. Fine. Write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. When you collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are today's winners. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to the, the winners. winners. Well, I guess the windmill thing was a failure. Well, now, come on, Chief. Hold on a second. Don't get down. I think I got an idea here. Don't we have one of those electric fans around here someplace? Yeah, it's over by the file cabinet. Okay. Why? Well, I have an idea, like I told you. Set that there. Turn this on here. Huh. <laughs> oh, well, that's... What the hell? <laughs> How did you do that? Very simple. I plugged in the fan and blew on the windmill. But where'd the fan get the power? From the windmill. Yeah, but the windmill wasn't turning. Well, not until I plugged in the fan. Yeah. No, of course. Well, if you turn, you could... Well, you, that... You know, that, that actually kind of makes sense. It, if you don't think about it too much. 
Okay, guys, training exercise time. Step right this way, if you will, please. Everyone pick a trash can. What you're going to do is help me find clues that are going to help us find our crook. Yeah, anyone you want, Patrick, you can be done here. Okay, good. And what better place to find these clues than right here in the trash can? What you're going to do is this. You're going to take the lid off the trash can like this. Thing with our feather theme for the day. Uh, you'll reach down here and find a card like this. It'll have the flag of the country we're looking for on one side. It'll have a clue on the other side. Then to finish up the assignment, you will take the lid to the trash can and place it right on top like this. This is how you finish the assignment, okay? So, let's see how fast you guys can do this. On your mark, get set, go! Find the clue, cheer on, guys. Try to find that clue. Remember to put the lid back on the trash can. Once you've done it, put the lid back on. One, two, and three. Okay, so Uchenna, you were first, then Patrick, then Gabriella. So, Uchenna, what does it say on your card on the other side there? Capital. Capital. I can tell you the capital of this country is Wellington. Uh, Patrick, you were next. What does yours say? Language. Language. Uh, the official languages of this country are English and Maori. Uh, Gabriella, what does yours say? Locator. I can tell you that this country is mostly on North Island and South Island. Now, Uchenna, since you were the first one to finish the assignment, you get first crack at this. What country are we talking about? Is it Madagascar, Australia, or New Zealand? New Zealand. New Zealand is right. Nice job, Uchenna. Ten crime bucks for you. Oh. All right, guys, that means we have something coming in from Acme Bugnet. Let's check the phone tap. Okay, boys, haul those humpbacks to a country on the Central American Isthmus. Is it Christmas already? Yay! I said Isthmus, you matching morons. A narrow strip of land that connects two big land masses. Go to the capital city, San Jose. You can rest there for a momentico. Momo what? Momentico. It means little moment. In most Spanish-speaking places, folks add Tito to the end of a word to suggest small. But here, people say Tico. In fact, the locals themselves are known as Ticos. Whoa. Well, let's get loco with the Ticos. We're on our way, Carmen. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country where Double Trouble have taken the whales. Is it Costa Rica, Panama, or Honduras? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital city is San Jose, and locals are called Ticos. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Trying to find double trouble in the whales. Utena is ready. Patrick is ready. And Gabrielle is ready. Patrick, we start with you. What do you say? I said Panama. Panama. Gabrielle. I said Panama. Panama. Utena. I said Panama. Everybody said Panama. Everybody is wrong. Sorry about that, guys. The answer we're looking for was Costa Rica. Let's recap the score and see how we're doing on this. Patrick has 75, Gabrielle, uh, Gabriella 55, and Uchenna 75 Acme Crime Bucks. Good news, though. We just received word that Double Trouble have left Costa Rica. So let's pick up the chase. Ooh, <laughs> Thank, the you. chase. Thank you. so much. Thank you. As you know, all these questions are worth five Acme Crime Bucks. That'll be fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitors. Listen carefully. Here we go. Double Trouble double-timed it to the world's largest rainforest. Name it. Uh, Uchenna. Amazon. Is right. Then they boogie to Bogota. What country are they in? Uchenna. Colombia. Yes. The Double Twins traipsy to the capital of Ecuador. Name it. Uchenna. Um, Quito. It's Quito, yes. They water skied the whales to the home of the giant tortoises named the islands. Uchenna. Hawaii. Sorry, it's Galapagos Islands. Double Trouble then limboed all the way to Lima. What country are they in now, Uchenna? Peru. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of the chase round, Patrick still at 75, Gabriella 55, Uchenna 95. Acme Crime Books. Nice job. Good hand. And a quick reminder to those of you watching at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you, boys. Okay, guys, now it is time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please, because here is a portion of the world where we think Double Trouble are headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, did you guys all pick, take a risk? Did everyone make a choice? Not sure if they did. Okay, yeah, go ahead and get those down there right now. Decide how much you want to risk. Uh, Patrick, did you do it? You're, you're all finished? Okay, and Gabriella is now uh, finished, and Uchenna is now ready as well. Okay, guys, for the final clue of this round. Oh, Greg! Oh, wait Greg! A minute. Oh, you know who that sounds like? That's Edwina. That's the uh, new little girl that just moved into my neighborhood. Let me, let me go see what she wants. Hi, Edwina. How's it going? Hi, Greg. <sighs> oh, uh, look what I brought you. Oh, hey, a book. Hey, great. I tell you what, you know, I'm on a case right now, but as soon as I'm done with it, I will sit down and read this thing. Oh, good, but it's a clue. Oh, it's a clue. Yeah, it's... 
You ever hear of a woman named Karen Bleakson Finica? Hmm. She was born in a country on the North Sea, and she wrote books under the name of Isaac Dennison. Mm, you, know, you know, that name does sound kind of familiar, yes. Really? Yeah. Well, she spent a lot of time on a coffee plantation in East Africa, mm -hmm. and she wrote this book, mm -hmm. Out of Africa, about what it was like to live there. They even made a famous movie about this book. Really? Hey, let me tell you something. You've been very helpful. Thanks very much. Really? Yeah. Great. <laughs> you like my earrings? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the little pencils. They're great. Yeah. Well, I got to go to football practice. Bye. Bye. Yes, she said football. She's a left tackle, and she's very good. Okay, gumshoes, name the country. Is it Poland, Denmark, or Finland? Remember the clues that we heard? Country on the North Sea and birthplace of author Isak Denison. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. And just a reminder, this is the final clue of this round. So once you have your answer, lay it down right there in front of you. And I'll know you're ready. Patrick is ready. Uchenna and Gabrielle still thinking about it. Now Gabrielle is ready. Uchenna is just about ready. Now he's ready. Okay, Gabrielle, we're going to come to you first. You have 55 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I missed 30 Crime Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. Takes you to 85 if you're right. What'd you say, Gabrielle? I said Denmark. Denmark is right. Nice job, Gabrielle. <laughs> Thanks, 85. Okay, Patrick, you're at 75 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 Crime Bucks. 20 Crime Bucks? What'd you say, bud? I said Poland. Poland is not right. You're going to go down 20. Aww. A little sympathy from the audience there, but anything could happen. Let's see what happens. Uchenna, you have 95 Crime Bucks. Before you show us your answer, you risked how much? I risked 40 Crime Bucks. 40 Crime Bucks. What'd you say, Uchenna? I said Denmark. Denmark is right. That means Uchenna, Gabriel. We're going on to the next round. Patrick, buddy, put her there. You're in this thing to the very last. Got some great stuff for you. Chief. Your sleuthing skills were superb, but double trouble can be doubly hard to catch. Next time, you'll be ready for them. With this official Acme gumshoe gear, it includes an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and our new Acme Stealth Pen Corner. Its tiny digital recorder is the latest in crime detection inventions from Crime Net Labs. What? Oh, Lemke, you put the microphone in backwards. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay, guys, double trouble are in Denmark. We're going to meet them there. To get there really fast, we're going to motor them ourselves. So what we have to do, take a deep breath. Greg, hold it. Yeah. are you in the gumshoes ready to motor them? We're ready, Chief. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, guys, here we are. Take a walk right here. Come on. Okay, guys, you guys are here. I'm here. Chief's going to be here in just a little bit with some very important information, so listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? Okay, there are 15 places here in Copenhagen where you might find Double Trouble, The Warrant, or The Humpback Whales. Let's look at a few of them. First, check out Town Hall. The tower is about 350 feet high, a great spot to scope the layout of the city and to keep an eye out for trouble. Double Trouble, that is. Then, Tivoli Gardens. This famous amusement park has been the center of the action since 1843. Parades, concerts, fireworks, and it's open late, so stay awake. If you feel like walking, head for the Stroet. It's pedestrians only on this hopping shopping street. A three-quarter mile stretch of Danes on the hoof. And this, of course, is the Little Mermaid. She's waiting for a certain very rich mouse to come along and give her a big check for turning her life story into a movie. <laughs> Fat chance, sister. All she's gonna meet is a pair of pranksters with a pension for partying. Gumshoes, go rope those dopes in Copenhagen, and I won't take nope for an answer. Thanks a lot, Chief. Gumshoes, you know how this works. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Uchenna, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Frederick's Holmes Pat Canal. Frederick's Holmes Canal. What wall? Nothing there. We turn it back around. Gabrielle, your turn. Little Mermaid Statue. Little Mermaid Statue. Heist and Humpbacks. Nice job. You get the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Round Tower. Round Tower. What wall? Nothing there, but you did find the loot. We turn them both back around. Uchenna, your turn. Little Mermaid Statue. Little Mermaid Statue. Wailing Whales. Uchenna, go ahead. Royal Library. Royal Library. The warrant. Whoa, you got the loot and the warrant. You get a free turn. You're on the right path. Go ahead, Jenna. Tivoli Gardens. Uh, Tivoli Gardens. 
Eh. Nothing there, but we find the loot and the warrant. We turn all three back around. Gabrielle, your turn. Little Mermaid statue. Little Mermaid statue. Sedated cetaceans. Go ahead, Gabrielle. Royal Library. Royal Library. The warrant. The loot and the warrant. Can you find Double Trouble? Scala Center. Our Double Trouble at the Scala Center. Double yes, they are. You Whoa, man. That completely threw me off. Go ahead, buddy. Go on to jail. Put him in jail. Man. <laughs> Man, Gabriel, nice job. You took us all for a loop there. Nice job. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. First off, buddy, that was a good game. She just got it there. One hit like that. Listen, we have some great stuff for you, though. Chief, what do you got? Wow! I can't believe the awesome stuff that Act Meets Crime Lab packed into this secret sender. It stores names and addresses and sends secret messages. It's even got a remote control for your TV and VCR. See, I press this button to rewind the tape. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one to change channels. That's where you hear this sound. Mm -hmm. Only totally different. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, two secret senders plus the Acme gumshoe gear. That adds up to a great day's work. And for that, I salute you. Thanks a lot, Chief. I tell you, you usually have time to get used to that, but you just nailed it. Anyway, here's your portfolio. Inside is a piece of paper and a pen. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go. If you catch Carmen San Diego, get that trip. Fellas, start your song. Before you got here, very good. Okay, now all we need is a phone call. There it is, right on cue. Hello? She's right here, hold on. We were partners in crime. We should be cellmates in jail. But the warden wants to split up this dream team. Carmen's laying low in North America. Tell her she's got to help. Okay, Gabriel, now we know where we're going. Let's get some more information from the chief. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Hudson Bay. Alberta, Canada. Manitoba, Canada. Nova Scotia, Canada. Lake Huron. Yosemite National Park, USA. Utah, USA. Oklahoma, USA. Tennessee, USA. Lake Okeechobee, USA. Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Haiti. Lake Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Good. Let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> Here, right? Yes. All right, let me explain for those who may not know. What you have to do is identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you are right, you will hear this sound. When you're wrong, you will hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, leave the market where it is. We'll continue on to the next one. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, we're going to get that trip. And remember this. If you see something like this, this arrow, then we're talking about a body of water. It could be a lake, it could be a river, it could be an ocean. Any questions, Gabriel? No. Nothing? Okay. You ready to do this thing? Yes. You know you can do it? Yeah. You guys know she can do it? Yeah. Let's do it then. Come back this way. Grab a marker right there. Let's get 45 seconds of an o'clock. You guys be sure and cheer her on. Good luck. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Lake Okeechobee, Florida. Lake Okeechobee, Florida. Go, buddy. Go. Here we go. Yeah. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. 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 Go, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah. Nova Scotia, Halifax, Nova Scotia. A little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Nova Scotia. Yeah, come on, come on. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Manitoba. A little faster, Manitoba, Manitoba. Go! Lake Nicaragua, Lake Nicaragua. Let's go, let's go get it, come on. Hurry, buddy, hurry, buddy. Go, let's go. Great Salt Lake, Utah. Great Salt Lake, Utah. Do it, buddy, come on, you can do it. Yeah! Lake Huron, Lake Huron. Oh, sorry. Lake Huron. Let's go! Seven in 45 seconds. Give her a big, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So, so very close. What do you say? One more. One more. You were so close, and we could have picked it up at the very end. You could have had it, but listen, you almost made it. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. 
tough break. I just hate it when Carmen escapes. But no one could have done more than you did to catch her. And here's the perfect gift for the gumshoe on the go, this Acme Pocket Color Television. Now, when crime busting takes you into the field, you can still tune in your favorite shows. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Excellent job, buddy. That's as close as it gets. You knew every one of those. That was great. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow bus to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Only then that it comes right on the from the Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never are consoling steel. The ring on from the jungle. Tell me. Remember, we toss criminals in the brig. Now, watch me make my eye look big. Geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrupt.